Violent crime is way up and claiming victims here in Los Angeles at a rate we haven't seen in decades. Coach Colin, coolest high performance coach in the world. And if you want the absolute best takes on the podcasts and videos you love, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. Jorge Masvidal was on the JRE on March 22nd, and they talked about a lot of things. But one thing they surprisingly talked about was the rise in crime that's going on in L.A. And they also touched on defunding the police and whether or not that was a good idea. Now, today I have two clips for you. Both of them are Joe Rogan and Jorge Masvidal talking about the rise in crime and defunding the police. And another one is Joe Rogan giving his straight up gangster opinion on defunding the police. It's just a straight up truth bomb. Let's get into it. They're, they're loosening that up and getting LA, away concealed LA's carry permits scary, now. Man. It's very scary. My friends who go back there now, they're like, fuck, man. It's just not the same place. I was there like eight weeks ago. It's, it's, it's different. Like zombie land now sometimes, bro. Yeah, well, COVID killed that place. COVID and the governor. The governor and the mayor, oh, they just fuck fuck fucked the politics, that place bro, to death. They, they don't, you know, I don't, I don't believe in those same, like, policies that, socialism and communism spring up i anything to do with that i'm firmly against that and we see it. it's like a perfect example you want to follow that shit look look what california happened in california you know exactly look what was going on in new york doing the whole thing it's it's nuts man Freedom i get first. why people would think that it would work because they think they're they're going to be a better person we're going to make things fair for people but the problem is it just consolidates power in the top and then they have they leave everybody fighting over everything else and it becomes chaos it happens in every country it happens in every city whenever they institute those kind of policies crime goes up people oh. get fucked they let more people out of jail crime continues to go oh, up you can't do that man yeah. i i grew up in not the best neighborhoods believe me you, you don't want to defund the police like <laughs> no you know because the guys that the, the people that they'll be all right is like me and you because i could hire a security team and so can you but how about everybody else that can't exactly they're gonna get fucking murked bro yeah because there's people on the other side that are really fucking hungry that are real for real bad guys you take the police away you take that filter away you're asking for trouble man. and when you let bad guys out of jail and you then they no know cash bails they <laughs> know they're going to be able to get out of jail easy if something happens I mean, these guys are shooting people and they're out of jail in a day. That, that's crazy. That's insane, bro. It's crazy. There was some, I forget, I think it was California, like the dude went in for stabbing and then he got out the next day and then robbed up like a liquor store and then like shot somebody and killed somebody. Like this guy was just in jail 24 hours ago yeah. and you fucking let him go, bro. No, it's a mess. And you know, you've got that district attorney in LA. He's a monster. He just lets people out and just, I don't understand it. I don't understand these I think, progressive I think it's district done on, attorneys. I think it's done on purpose. Because so, the... The evidence is pretty clear. It's like any idiot could read yeah. any black and white person. It's in black and white for you to see. Like, yeah. it, it's not working out, man. I like the way this guy thinks. Now, I don't usually watch the MMA shows, but when I saw Jorge, I wanted to listen to it because Jorge, he has brought up so many, like, throughout the past three years. And you know, when I bring up that era, when I say the past three years, we all know. You know, when that started and when that, you know what the past three years means. He was very vocal on exactly the things he mentioned, you know, communism, socialism, and, and things that he saw that were happening, you know, the little restrictions that were happening. He he kept calling it out, and he, he had no problem doing that. And, yeah, I'm a really big believer in not defunding the police. I've always said that it's a misguided thing to do. I, and I know the big argument, especially with what the left had going on in their mind, the biggest argument was always about how, you know, you need to take that money from them and put it into the communities that they're harming. And, and not even that they're harming, the, the communities that they're patrolling and things happen in. Like, that's that's just the nature of it. That's what happens. You know, it happens in all communities. But at that time, in that little era of the past three years, we were getting shown a certain narrative way too much and people really believe that the police should have lost a bunch of money and it should have went into those communities and that somehow sending people in who were like i think people were asking for like crisis people you know people who could like work out disputes and they would go in unarmed which is just wild wild you don't want to send an unarmed person into a a domestic dispute where that person walks in unarmed not knowing the terrain of the house that they're in, not knowing the people that they're dealing with, 
and then the people that they're dealing with know where all the kitchen knives are and possibly firearms no Ter- terrible idea and also it's like when it comes to building up a community right and we're we're putting that on the government we're putting that on you know the police force which is you know fun to, you know what i mean like the government could easily just say okay all of the sectors that we have, all of you guys are going to take a $5 million hit. Instead of the police losing hundreds of millions of dollars, like nationwide, which is just nuts. Every other set, all the sectors, you can all take a hit. We're going to put it into this community and we're going to build this community up. And you're not going to have to take a hit forever. It's just going to be for like a year. Whatever you would get a month, everybody's going to take a hit. And we're going to help this community. You could just do that. And somehow... Because of the narrative we were being shown, everybody thought we should take all the money from the police because it's their fault that the community is the way that it is. But if you really looked at everything that happens economically and and socially and and just the culture in general in those places, it's more than just the police that are the problem. Way more. So, But here's another clip of Joe Rogan giving his straight-up truth in regards to to defunding became a member. that's klaus schwab no no that's for another video here's uh the joe rogan video <laughs> let's get into it to be able to call out everybody and just because somebody is on your side you can't let them take over city blocks and just institute their own government and then say it's the summer of love this is crazy talk and this is how it, this is gets gets cities destroyed and this is what gets the police defunded and this would would get people saying crazy things like we we need to disband release everyone from prison and no more prisons and no more laws and no more police and like n- no the way things go well is you have to be safe. The only way you're safe is if you have a strong military and a strong police force. And there's something about liberals that don't want to believe that. They see the bad cops, they see these videos, and we all agree, we got to get rid of bad cops. They got to reform the police, they have to. But those are not all the cops, that's crazy. You just only see the bad, no one's, t- no one's filming excellent interactions with friendly cops and compliant uh, people. That's not what you're filming. Not going to get a lot of it's YouTube not gonna get downloads. Views, but that's the majority of these interactions. But we have this distorted perception based on what we're exposed to, which is viral videos of cops being cunts. Because there are cops that are cunts. Because there's people that are cunts. And there's who knows how many fucking hundreds of thousands, if not millions of cops there are. The odds that they're not hundreds and thousands of cunts is, is outrageous. But yeah. That's that's the perfect view. And that was a big thing that I was just talking about and that I've talked about for years is that we weren't seeing all of the cops that are amazing. You're not seeing the cops who take their time when they when they're off duty and go to the communities that they patrol. And you're not seeing the ones that make sure they walk the beat and learn everybody's name. You're not seeing the ones that play football and play basketball. It's like you're not seeing any of that. You're just seeing the absolute worst of the absolute worst. You know? It's it's the same thing. The same thing that we were doing, the cops are the same thing that some people will do in terms of like like the black community. Like you'll see a black guy who has guns, has drugs, like he's living that life. He's just in the street life. He's a gang member, whatever it might be. And it's like we're showing that that guy and all of a sudden that guy blankets everybody. And now everybody's like that. And now I walk by somebody's car and they're locking the door. Because you know how those guys are. It's ridiculous. You can't look at cops like that. We'll, we'll never be able to see every interaction that the police have. Right? Because there's millions of great interactions that the cops have with the public. And then there's a bunch that they have that are absolutely terrible. And it's like we can't just look at the worst of the worst of them and be like, all of them need to suffer because of what this one did. Again, more training, more reform, things of that nature makes sense. But to just take away their power and take away all their money, <laughs> that is the worst thing that anybody could possibly do. Like like Masvidal said, there are some people who are praying for that. There are some people that are just like, if the cops would just take 10 hours off, I would turn whatever city they're in into the into purge land. Like, they would just go off. They would just loot. They would just destroy. They would just... We already saw it in the past three years. The past three years. You remember what happened. So, 
yeah, I just wanted to give that that quick breakdown. I absolutely love this episode. Check it out. It's Masvidal. Let me just see what episode it is real quick. It's the MMA show 137, Masvidal, Jorge Masvidal. He actually talks about way more than just fighting. Uh, they get into that type of talk. They get into talking more about the pandemic and whatnot. They, they talk about a lot of things. He's a pretty layered guy when it comes down to it. But anyway, if you found any value in this, please hit that subscribe button. We hit 31,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Now we're going for 35,000. If you guys could help me, it would be much appreciated. We're bringing out a new show. Actually, I just recorded this weekend and uh, I'm looking for a researcher. If you're one of those people, let me know. And other than that, I'm out.